Betty Brooke here, your secret garden gal. And today in my garden, what we're going to do is plant garlic, an abundance of it. I won't be talking a lot when I'm out there. It makes it really difficult, but I'll be showing you things. I'll prop you in a corner and we'll just sort of see how that works out. And then my friend Barb, she really loves Brussels sprouts and it's still cool here. We have a little, we have a little time. So we bought these Brussels sprouts and it says on the package that we can plant them now. So I'm going to do that. Let's do that outside and then I'll show you everything else that's going on. But a really quick tip. I have raspberries going out there and we live in Critterville, of course. And so garlic is a great companion plant uh, to, to ward away the Japanese beetles. So we'll be doing that. All right, I'll see you in the garden. beautiful out here today don't you think I just love where I live I feel so blessed okay so I cleared out that little area transplanted us a couple of those little seedlings I don't know what they are but we'll see seeds that fell somewhere from the sky <laughs> probably anyways we're gonna plant these now 7 to 14 days to germinate we have to go about a quarter inch deep so kind of like surface level I'll put them on the surface and then I'll put a little dirt on top. And then we're going to space them two to three feet apart. So it's going to take a while to harvest. We'll see if this is going to work. I've never grown them when it starts to get warm. So this will be interesting, but we can always do a little bit of a shade cloth. And this is the shady side of the garden. So that's why I chose it. Okay, let's do it. Okay, see how simple it is? <laughs> I'm gonna cover those up lightly with about a quarter of an inch. Um, seven to 14 days germinate. These are new seeds, so they should work. This will be fun, don't you think? I love Brussels sprouts. I hope you like Brussels sprouts. We'll have to share recipes. Okay, I'm gonna put garlic. I'm gonna dot it around the garden because we don't want bugs here and garlic really repels bugs. Um, especially those Japanese beetles, like I said. So we'll go do that now. When you're planting garlic, <clears throat> that's the root. It goes down this way. And about the deep depth of your thumb. Oh, 
Okay, so we got the uh, big garden got done over there. And <clears throat> recently I just put, I put in some beautiful um, raspberries. I'm super excited. They're the thornless and they're the golden, I believe. And here they are. And I'm gonna put a big fat garlic with each of them because the Japanese beetles, again, <laughs> the theme of this video, they like these and I don't want them to, you know, be uh, eating up our little seedlings, especially. I'm excited for these. See? Can you see them? There they are. So I have two and uh, we'll be expanding of course because we have a blank slate that we're filling here i'm super excited all right let's get these bulbs in i'll just bring you down see if you guys can see there you go this is how you plant the garlic you really couldn't see in the big garden i know as i was doing it so i thought well i'll bring you out here and i'll show you what i'm going to do all right here it is and again that's the root that's the top, and this one's already started. Um, you, you can plant them in their jackets, or you can make them naked. It doesn't really matter. Okay, I think I'm just gonna put probably one right back here, because it'll grow tall and then die down, of course. So, it'll be a little funky, but it does work. All right, there we go, all right. Okay, so there's not much really to it. Now that'll be in there for quite a while, you know, because garlic like onions take a while, especially the big ones that you're growing, the spring onions, you know, that's not the case. That's uh, I think it for us today at this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a little thumbs up. And uh, until I see you next time, get outside and garden on. Alrighty, bye.